What's up, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Division Street Auto. Division Street Auto is a full line of automobile services, oil changes, transmission shit, whatever you need to the vehicle, they will take care of you. Uh, I've been bringing my car there for years. They always do a fantastic job. Do us a favor, go see George. You get 10% off. If you mention this ad. Of anything you need, if you mention this ad, you tell them you heard it on the J Squared podcast, and they will take care of you. Again, that's Division Street Auto. Check them out on Facebook. Bring your car down there. You'll be taken care of. Other than that, today on the podcast, we have Andre Spence. Andre is a uh, good friend of mine. We used to work together, but really, I keep him around for his uh, witty comedy, slightly knowledgeable opinions, and uh, just his... Ability, slightly knowledgeable, <laughs> slightly knowledgeable opinions, <laughs> and uh, basically just his ability to uh, banter, have a good time, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks for listening. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. Once again, ladies and gents, we are live. Thanks for tuning in. It automatically does. We've got our buddy Andre. Actually, Andre was just telling us a funny story. You were saying, what were you saying, Andre Spence? Uh, Something about immigrants at work? Yeah, let's not talk about them. (laughs) What? (laughs) Listen, don't get all shy. I was talking about my job. I (laughs) I had to sign a disclosure thing. (laughs) No social media. Yeah. I'm this close to going to HR, buddy. Can't do it. (laughs) All right, so... uh, all right, guys. So yeah, this is Andre Spence, a good friend of mine. He uh, used to work together, and he's a cool motherfucker, man. That's it. Nothing really interesting about him. No, Nothing awesome. really interesting about him at all. <laughs> Porn aficionado. Uh, that's about it. Porn aficionado. You may have seen him in uh, some films. If you search, horny horses. MBC. You might find him. He's got a medium black cock. Oh yeah. A medium. <laughs> medium. <laughs> Call Mr. Goodbar. Yeah. All right, so anywho, guys, what's going on? Do we want to dive into uh? We can dive into whatever you want. Our uh, commander in chief giving out Wendy's to the national champs. I thought it was pretty funny, and then the more oh, I think gone. about it, I, I and I didn't think it was Wait, a big to deal. Who? who did he? Uh... So it's Clemson, the national champs, right? College football, they go and visit the president. Yeah. And it was, you know, it's usually a dinner. Huh. And he just had a spread of fast food, you know, like. Wendy's, Big Macs, but like on Come these on, fancy Burger platters, King, yeah. on these fancy platters, and um, I don't know. I, I mean, was it was legit a, fast food, or was it just burgers and fries? No, no, no. It was wrapped in Wendy's, you know, yeah, wrapping. Wendy's Burger came Big out. Mac like, Big boxes, Macs. like, like actual Big, Big Macs. Macs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, I couldn't believe it either. Then I'm like, yo, that happened. Wow. Yo, that ha- and at first, I'm just like, you know, and obviously. So we, got the graphic, we got the graphic here for you guys. Nice. Nice, dude. Let me see that. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Just on the platter. Oh, hold that up so the camera. I don't know if that'll work, but anyway, Probably give it a yeah. shot. Yeah. So, so he did that, and for, obviously, you know, like the the um, left wing people that hate Trump are gonna make that into a huge deal. You know, denounce that and really give him shit for that. Which I thought, whatever. Like, not the end of the world. I mean, hey, when you're a college kid, usually money's not, you know, um, everywhere you turn. So. Fucking fast food is still food. But what has been the precedent? Like, they've always had a can nice you, can dinner. Can you find out what, what is what did Obama serve for his dinner? Yeah. Well, sure I think it's like I mean, I just, just think if you go to the White House, you're expecting something like, from the president, the, a billionaire especially, right? You're like yeah. you're expecting something like extravagant. You know, give me a steak. steak you know? If you went to food. Outback Steakhouse, like no one would have a problem with that. And I think a lot of people are not really outraged by it. Like I have fun with it, but I'm like, yo, dude, you got to do better. Right, right, right. It's like, yo, you had a hard time getting, like, Villanova, the national champions from basketball last year over. Just to show up. Yeah, just to show up. And then you're going to, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to go now. <laughs> How'd you feel about Villanova winning? I was happy. Yeah, we didn't say that, but uh, you're alumni, right? That's where you went? That's where you went to school? No. Where'd you go, Penn? No, dude. I went to Johnson and Wales, man. You went to, nah, you went yeah. somewhere. He's like, I'm from Pennsylvania. Man. Oh, shit, man. I'm from Pennsylvania. What the fuck do you think I'm doing up here? Like, I just moved I to Rhode know, Island. Like, yeah, I mean, I, dude, I thought you went to no, Nova just, or something. I grew up right down the street from Villanova University, so I've been rooting for their basketball team since I was a kid. 
I find you know the whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, let's. let's You're way less cool than I thought you were. You know, it's I, I I find it that it's typical Trump. It's like, you know, you can't expect anything. You can't, but you can't even imagine that though. (laughs) You know, before him, like nobody could have imagined that he. It kind of reminds me of like him throwing the paper towels. You know, like you're such a (laughs) fucking idiot. (laughs) You're such an idiot. (laughs) Like, I forgot all about that paper towel tossing. Yeah. And again, it's not like. It's not malicious. There's no intent. He right. probably thought he was being cute with the food and just being like, oh, I remember no, being college kids. 19, 20. I loved me yeah. some Big Macs. I love a six-piece. And he's... But that's what he eats like on a regular basis. Though. Like, you know, like they try to get him to eat healthy and he's like, no, nah, man. I get it, though. The McRib is fantastic. So, like, you know, <laughs> but like seriously, like, no, man. Like, if I go to the White House, I'm expecting, like, please give me some chicken, you know. Something. Like, you know, like not fried, you know, but like, you know, like something nice. Not fried. How and you know, like, I think past presidents have always supported and try to promote it, promote like a healthy lifestyle. They all show pictures of jogging and you know that kind of thing. Did Ob- Obama did that? I'm sure, right? Obama and smoked running Newports, and stuff. Yeah. Obama well, smoked well, he stopped smoking, but thing is, like, he was. Like, did he really, smoke Newports? Yeah, he did yeah. smoke. Like, dur- I'm saying, like, they, they actually he got him to quit though because it just doesn't look good. But, right. Uh, yeah, he was always basketball. He was playing basketball. Looks all the time. good for Newport. George Bush was always in pretty good shape, though. He actually is a like, big bicycle guy. Yeah, how's he doing? Right. And then, uh, no, George, the second mm. one. And then, like, Clinton was always, like, you know, jogging and stuff like that. He was getting blowjobs. He was definitely yeah, I mean, getting, yeah, getting blowjobs, though. But, you know, his pelvic like, thrust was working. And that's one thing, I guess, you know, when you compare presidents and stuff, like, you know, you look at Bill Clinton, uh, you know, getting blowjobs in the Oval Office versus, like, Donald Trump talking about grabbing by the pussy. Like, who gives a fuck? You know, I think I think more people relate to things like that than the media well, would like to try to... slight difference, though, on what you just described. Oh, you didn't even let me finish. I know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hold that thought. <laughs> I think more people relate to that than the media wants to sell it as, you know, oh, you know, look what this president's doing. And blah, blah, blah. Right. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, the guy's getting a fucking blowjob. Like, let him let him get his dick sucked. Like, what the fuck? If Hillary ain't doing it, fuck yeah, her. Yeah, not, not a huge deal. Not you a know? huge deal. And, like, you know, us us four guys sitting here, we would, we would I think we would literally talk just like we have been, you know, like. Oh, yeah, if we were the president. I'm not saying grab a chick by the pussy. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying, like, we would talk like guys talk. So where would you grab a chick? By the pussy. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I would go, Just like, second base up. first, you know, like, you know, that's, like, you know, like, third base right there, though, right? Yeah. But the way like, he said depends. that, though, it's like, ooh, you know, like, that's how you woo women? Like, come on, dude, you're better than that. Mm, I yeah. mean, dude, he's a billionaire, really though. Nah, I guess that's how I you mean, do can it. We, can we not, like, can we not shy away from the fact that when you're a billionaire, women find you, for the most, you know, a, a good portion of women will find you attractive and that power and that money that you have. And just, you know, consent to a little more than if you weren't a billionaire. Like, that's obvious, right? Absolutely. I mean, isn't, 150%. That, isn't, that, isn't that the goal, you know? Like, growing up, you why do you want a good job? Get rich, man. You know? Yeah, get absolutely. Get chicks, man. You want the nice car? You get the chicks. Nice kicks. Nice J-squared hat. You know? I think just to be close, to get the man. chicks. I think this, just the simple fact that For he's... For the record, I got my chicks. He's very unpolished, obviously. Um, you know, he's... I think America loved him prior to his presidency, candidacy. You know, the whole, mm. his TV show and whatever, I think America loved him. And then all of a sudden, because he was associated semi to, like, the the right, which he's really not, eat, like, he might be, you know, because there's two parties. Yeah, he had to pick They push one. him that way. Right. And, yeah, he had to pick one kind of thing. But I don't think it's, I don't think he was ever like that. I think he just, I think he really, and if you look, actually, if you look at the videos back when he was on Oprah, when he was a young, younger guy, he used to say the same shit. Like, man, this country's, we could be doing so much better. Mm. And they would ask him, and even from, you know, in the audience, like, hey, you're going to run for president? And he's like, uh, I mean, that's when he was young, a lot younger too. You can actually like look those videos up on YouTube. But, um, I think he catches a lot of shit for you know, minor shit, just like this fast food stuff. Like, gives a fuck. Fuck those kids and fuck the Yeah, but I, I hear where you're coming from. And who gives a fuck? Because I don't really give a fuck. But it's... Like, yeah, come on, you, bro. Like, what are you, you thinking? Like, you I wouldn't mind. I mean, I'd be like, just a little shocked. Sort of like a whopper. I'm like, you know, good work, guys. You know, you know, it's like kind of like, you know, your grandma. I hope they at least like, them up. Your grandma who's like super rich, though, giving you like a $5 Dunkin' Donuts gift card for Christmas. Like, yo, Nana, what the fuck, man? You know, like you get a... Like, I mean... 
I mean, the kids were like, they, they, you know, they took it in stride though. But you know, they were throwing some shade at the whole ordeal on I'm Twitter. Sure. And and they're from down south though, so like, you know, South Carolina, a lot of Trump supporters down there, so they can't be like really like, yo, fuck this. But hey, down south, that might actually be a treat. <laughs> I mean, they got better fast food down south, you know, like uh, Chick Fil A. But what I'm saying is, like, yeah. I, I lived in Oklahoma for four years, and like, I lived in in Enid, Oklahoma, and I think like the big thing in, in that town was Super Walmart. You can buy everything. You see what I'm saying? Walmart, like, it's crazy where you live, man. You go to a Walmart, like a super Walmart in these other states, you buy fucking booze, car, whatever the fuck you need, man. They got everything. That's true. That's very true. Mm. Oh, can't go to Walmart, man. I hate that place. Wait, you, you, you like well, Target? the one in Providence? No, I'm more of a Target guy. Yeah, like. definitely. Tar- 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 Target is like the Walmart for people that think they're too good for Walmart. Well, think about <laughs> this. They actually no, call it's it like Target. Like that's a tar- but, no, that's but what like, if you see somebody acting up in Target, like, yo, you better take that shit to Walmart. And then you go to Walmart. And you go and you go to Walmart, right? And you're just like not surprised. Not surprised. That's true. Right? Absolutely. You're just like, no, and the thing is like, you know those memes that they show on like, you know, like social media, right? Like yeah. people from Walmart. It's true. You though. see those people though, and like you see, every once in a while they'll you know get the overflow to Target, but the overflow. No, but it's just like I'm I'm sorry, Target's just a way better place. I can totally okay. understand. Like you, you, like you said, you you're in college. You win those. You win something very big. The president's coming, and you get served a Big Mac. You're yeah. like, really, it takes, dude? <laughs> it takes you to Walmart. Yeah, I can totally it takes, see that. Gives like, you a Walmart gift. It's card. just like your hopes are up because like the, the most powerful seat on the planet is coming. Yeah, like yo, this and you're coming. They, they could have went in there with the thought, like thinking, "Hey, man, this could be the best meal of our lives right now." Like it's in the White House. Yeah, the White House has a whole you know kitchen. They have expert chefs that prepare food every day. <laughs> and you show up. Well, the government shut down, so... Maybe not. They could have subcontracted that out, you know? <laughs> I know. Somebody would have done it for free just for the exposure. I oh, heard yeah. that... Um, What's the quarterback's name? The Clemson quarterback? Uh, I forget his name, though. Young kid, though. Yeah, anywho. Uh, so Freshman. the quarterback afterwards, he asked for... Um, after they ate their food and shit, he asked yeah. for dessert. And Trump had to let him know the ice cream machine was down. So <laughs> that was no good. <laughs> government shut down. <laughs> well, no, when, but they when, got they got in a shirt and tie and like you know and they dressed up and dressed up and it's that's like, horrible and that's one of those things. It's like Shouldn't because every time I've been food? to McDonald's, right? It's like yo, I'm showing up in sweatpants when I go to McDonald's. Like you know, well, you, you go, go in. How yeah, I go in? Who goes into McDonald's? You yeah. go in? Of Joke. course I do. No, can't. They fuck you in the drive-through, man. Hold on, if you're gonna I not remember that, Joe if you're not utilizing like, the drive-through, why would you even go to McDonald's? Well, now you get Uber Eats, so they'll just deliver that shit. Yeah. I feel like the only time you ever go to McDonald's, is, might be packed it's convenient fuck. and it's, you know, fast. Yeah, but it still takes yeah, 30 that seconds line to get is your fucking food. around the No, corner. I want to see the person that's fucking up my order. Right? Like, I don't want to hear them, right? Like, I got to recognize their voice. Like, no, nah, I'm just fucked up. I'm dealing with you now. Mm. You well, go, it's kind of true because... You're going with some... Ill intentions. Because I don't. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant, right? Oh, and I say, don't no did. cheese on this shit. And they, they always, always put, put it on. Listen, always. For everybody that's and lactose intolerant, if you're lactose intolerant, if you have any crazy food allergies, eat at home, all right? These people aren't making enough money to give a fuck what you can eat. And or that's you the can't thing. Eat. They don't get paid enough eat to give a fuck. Home, bro. Like, come on. Like, I'm actually paying you. Like, come on. Do better. Eat at home. Take your lactose intolerant. Go buy whatever you need to buy. And Lactose intolerant people can't have McDonald's? They can just gotta risk it. <laughs> <You> gotta, <laughs> no, but I'm it's like a this. You take like I want a That's quarter a pounder. You, you want cheese on that? No, a quarter pounder hamburger, not a cheeseburger a hamburger, right? And they're like, we're putting cheese on this shit. <laughs> no, they, that's what they do. Like he's black, put cheese on it. Throw some cheese <laughs> on it. Lactose intolerant. <laughs> it was weird though. Is it really common amongst the African Americans? From what I've heard, though, lactose intolerant. From my white friends. It's like, why are all black people lactose intolerant? I didn't know that. Well, I'll tell you <laughs> a lot friends of friends have one black friend yeah, that's lactose intolerant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're high as fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, man, good. No, I'm I can tell it. by your like your dead silence. <laughs> Just I feel like he that, like stroked out on us yeah. for a second. Like, yeah. We, <laughs> he went all snowy. He crossed that one off the list. What else is there, man? He served uh He went all Bill Belichick. Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you're you're like the the moderator, man. You got to keep the. Oh, you got some stuff. I'm over that one. I do. I got over here, Mariah Carey. So you guys heard about her suing her executive assistant, who she paid three hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars a year, by the way, suing her because she fired her two years after she hired her. How much does she make? 
327000 To be an executive assistant? Yeah. Can you look up on Craigslist or something if anybody needs an executive assistant? Because I'm in right now. And I'm just so look that up. <laughs> He's going on Craigslist. This chick, Liana Azarian, she's t- she's blackmailing uh, Mariah Carey for 8 mil, saying, hey, listen, you're going to give me 8 mil, or I'm going to release these videos of you because you didn't know I was recording you. Oh, doing shit. Doing this embarrassing shit, and some of it's intimate. And Mariah Carey's countersuing. Oh, wow. Because, for I think for like over three mil, because you know it's damaging obviously her image and that's her business. Her image is her business. Right, right. But I find it fucking crazy. Number one, you're paying somebody three hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars to be your bitch. Like, but also, I, how how much how much time of the day do you think she's actually dedicating to being Mariah Carey's bitch? I mean, it's not like she's probably make, she's probably not making three hundred k a year for a foot. That's probably an around-the-clock job. Like, being you know, my personal assistant is probably like $50 a week. You know, it is what it is, you know. But, like, Mariah Carey, you got to do some stuff for her, right. you know. It's I know, like, but how much shit I mean, do you like, do? my stuff is, like, fold my laundry, right, and just wake me up, you know. I like that's girlfriend. What? I do, but you know, it's, she does it for free, though. She does it for the love of the game, though. But if I needed somebody extra, it'd be $50. Maybe 100 But God, You're doing it wrong, man. No, but the thing is, like, I mean, she's probably at a lot for Mariah Carey as far as, like, you know, just healthier. All right. You know, I'll give you that. I'll give you guys that. But think about this. Could you, when you, when you, could you really do $327,000 worth of shit? Like, yes. what are you doing? Whatever you need. Are you a fucking, like, yes. Are you a pilot, a coal miner, and a fucking, like, hey, Mariah, do you want me to go to the moon for you? Do you want me to? She's not going to get paid minimum wage, though. Like, well, that's true. I mean, she's not going to make 50K, but. $327,000. I think that's a going rate, though, for Mariah. Like, how much is she worth? I mean, yeah, but that, that's think. irrelevant. No. To the, you know what I'm saying? you got to think about the average going wage for a star celebrity, too. You don't think that every single other personal assistant for all these... Like, what is Drake's personal assistant mean? It's some damn good money. And, if he, and you know what mm-hmm. I mean? If the audio guy's making one hundred fifty k a year or more, Drake's personal assistant's got to be... Double that, right? And you got a personal assistant that can do almost anything for anything. you. You know, are you trying like, to add value to your percentage? I'm now the personal assistant. <laughs> <laughs> George out here is selling himself. Like, no, I understand second. six figs. I would, I would assume six figs. I just like three hundred and twenty-seven. I'm like, I'm that jealous. Is, is, I'll be honest. Yeah, like, like, me too, man. Like, like, is she hiring though? Yeah, like I, I fucking run. I run around the. I run around to China. I fucking. I don't know. Yeah, tell hire me. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't, sound like, it doesn't sound like a bad gig. But uh, I think it's interesting that there's, like, no loyalty. Imagine that. You take somebody. Who knows what this lady was doing before she was Mariah Carey's assistant. But to give somebody, anybody, that much money as, you know, as their employer, and now they're going to turn around and blackmail you with some videos they secretly took of you. It's fucked up, man. That's a cold. I wonder what the legality right is behind that. That's a cold. Well, I don't think she right there. thought that far though. So it's like you know, like I have some shit on you. Mariah Carey came, came back was like, "You sure you want to do this shit, bitch?" And then yeah. all of a sudden, it's like, like you know, so I, I mean, much? I don't think I don't think uh, I don't think their personal assistant's going to win this at all. No, she can't. It basically says that uh, she had a non compete or non disclosure agreement at yeah. the beginning. So just she discloses anything, she can be automatically sued. Oh for. yeah. Bink. So that's why there's a three million dollar lawsuit back against her, and there's no way it's gonna win. The lawyers on this just go on and on. What and the say, three mil you talking about? Or yeah, she's uh, you're she's talking about the eight mil? S- yeah. Well, yeah. no, Carrie is seeking three million in damages. Yeah. Back right yeah. now, so it's probably gonna end up being settled one way or the other. Is that gonna be like a ten year advance? Like, how is she gonna get that money? Crazy. It is. You know, when it comes to money, people just fucking do. It's greed, do, though. It is I greed. Get, I get it's greed. That. Definitely. You know, because like this person is paying you three hundred and forty k a year. How are you not happy to the point where you're trying to extort them for more money? Well, I mean, you're making three hundred fifty k a year, and then you get fired. Who knows how that went down? It's Mariah Carey. It could be anything. Yeah. That's yeah. True. She is like fucking uber you know, dramatic. Could be like you didn't put a sponge in the bathroom or something. Unstable. Something ridiculous. How do you know? You know her personally? Yeah. She told me. She called me. True. True. All right. So next week on the podcast. Uh, what were you saying earlier about Rhode Island legalizing weed? Yeah, Gina Raimondo put out a fucking plan, her legalization plan, but I heard she's regular. I oh, actually I didn't hear. I, I read that she's regulating the shit out of it. Does that make you feel better about it now? What do you mean? I read it. I didn't hear it. When you say I hear something, it kind of sounds like stupid rumors, people gossiping. Right. When you say I read it, it gives you some it's, fucking power. You know, now we solidifies believe it. a little bit. Yeah, hell yeah. 
What are you re- reading on Reddit or something like that? Somebody's blog or is like I read it on Facebook. Somebody saw it. No, <laughs> that's where I read it. <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> but um, there so was yeah. a rumor that her husband Andrew Moffat was like uh, in the marijuana business. So that's why who's, she was like, whose husband? Gina Raimondo's. Gotcha. Our her husband was in the marijuana like. Uh, industry or business or whatever so like a lot of people were saying well of course she's regulating the shit out of it and taxing the shit out of it because her husband is stands to gain from it right but like, there was a release bitch. out saying that actually he hadn't he came out or his assistant or somebody josh uh block i believe his name is black i don't know he said not that I, he knows of that andrew moffat is part of any kind of marijuana anything business anything so yeah we'll see i don't know I guess under the pressure of Connecticut, Jersey, New York, Everybody, Massachusetts, the Massachusetts everybody's legalizing to, around yeah, us. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, Rhode Island's never like the trailblazer, you know, like the right. cavalier. They're always like, we'll see what they do. You know? Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah, yeah. the casinos, like. <laughs> right, like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, it, yeah, I get that. But And it's funny because the article was like, so the end of the article that I read, it was saying how, like, law enforcement, um, you know, oh, this will provide extra money for law enforcement so we can equip our guys properly and blah 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 try to make it sound more appetizing i guess the conservative um population that don't you know agree to legalizing marijuana i actually lean right and i would say legalize it all day every day Uh, that's me the thing is can you grow it though can like the average person that's that's the that's where it's fucked up because that's the issue because it's a plant exactly medicinal users there's Registered no, there's no difference between the there should be no difference between growing weed or growing cucumbers, you know, cucumbers or, or tomatoes or whatever you want to. But that's a, Big Brother, it's fucking, a natural you plant. Know. Yeah, of course, dude, it's fucked up. Yeah, it is fucked up. I, I totally 100 percent agree. It's incredible. You, you know, be able to grow whatever the fuck you want. I was driving with my son one day, and he he said something that really simplified it for me. He might have been six or seven years old at the time, and it made me realize what a simple concept it is, and then how how greed and you know. The need yeah. for power just convoluted the the entire way that we live. We were talking about fishing and hunting, and he wanted me to take him. And I'm like, all right, we can definitely go fishing. Um, he's like, all right, can we go now? And I'm like, well, we got to go to the store. You know, we got to get a license. We got to do all this. And he says, why do we need a license, Daddy? I'm like, you know, we just have to register it with the state so they know who's fishing. And he goes, oh, okay, can we do that now? And I explained to him, I'm like, yeah, it costs money. We can go do it, but you know, we got to go home or whatever the case was. He goes, why does it cost money? I go, we have to pay the state. He goes, does the state own the fish? And I'm like, I don't think so, bud, but that's a good question. I got to find out. <laughs> but it was like, you know, that, that child kind of like ignorance and innocence sometimes Exposes can be eye-opening. And surfaces, yeah, yeah. And it, 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 you start to realize, you know, and be like, why the f- who owns the oceans, you know, and why are we paying, you know, for saltwater fishing licenses or whatever the case is? And if I'm not too well-versed on it, so I don't want to, butcher it but i think a lot of it might have to do with um you know like commercial fishing to prevent yeah that's basically people it. from you know just kind of to say that. taking all the fish i guess per se and monopolizing and you know it and yeah because you say man would go ahead i'm sorry if you always have that asshole that's just going and th- this is why laws like pragmatic laws are put into place and people get pissed off right because like, i just want one fish but and I need only one fish a day. But there's that asshole who's going to take all of it, though, yeah. right? And just, like, try to capitalize off of it. And that's where, like, okay, there's regulations. No one likes these regulations, but they need to be in place. Just reasonable ones. And sometimes the state does or the government does go overboard. But you always get that one dickhead that's just going to be like, uh, you know, let's... I forgot who it was, and this is piggybacking off what you're saying. I think it was the CEO of Nestle that was trying to... Buy the rights to, like, all the fresh water? Yeah. What the fuck? He said that humans don't have a right to fresh water. Like, it's a commodity. Can you commodity put anything that... on that up, George? The Nestle or Nestle trying to uh, you I think know, buy the Nestle. rights to the water or any company. I just want to know what the facts are. Like, I want to know what they're... I mean, it's it's kind of... What they're... Like, what they're... they're what's, their, what's their pitch? You know, how are they... Trying to convince somebody that they should own the rights to the but water. Think about this. Think about what they already do. They already sell us water, like in bottled water. Like we buy it. Yes, but well, we're also paying for the process of them making it convenient I enough know, to put clean. in a bottle. You know, yeah. clean and in a bottle, convenient. There's a cap on it, so there's some material that goes into it. It's not like they're charging us to go to a lake and drink that water. Right. You know, so I, I think that's a little different. 
Uh, basically, it just says that Peter Lethmath is the former chairman and CEO of Nestle, and he basically said that water is not a human right. He said it in a bunch <laughs> of different ways, and there's a bunch of memes about it. But uh, he basically said that having water as a human right is pretty extreme. Is What's what his name? His name is Peter uh, Lethmath. Peter Lethmath. You, sir, can go fuck yourself, first of all. And Netflix, I mean, Netflix, Nestle, Nestle. Um, did they fire him or he's not with them anymore? Uh, it says he's a former chairman and CEO. So right, good. They probably fired him. his crazy ass. Trying to, you ever see that movie? It reminds me of uh, Mad Max, Fury Road. Yeah. There's no, there's no water. One person controls all that water. Yeah. And he becomes like the sick ass king. That's what you're trying to it's do. It's crazy. Peter and, Meth Lab. And, and that's like the, the, the extreme part of capitalism, right? Where you just get that. Like, capitalism in theory, fantastic, right? But you also got to account for the you greed. You heard it first. The greed factor. Andre Spence, of, capitalist. No, but the thing is, like, you have to account for the greed factor in it. And that's where government, like, you know, like, apparently the socialists come in, though, right? It's like, it's a check and balance system, right? It's like, we don't want government intervention, but also it's like, you got to prevent tyranny from. Just like, you know, private corporations versus like, and there's tyranny from the government as well. So there's always that clashing between the two, though. But the thing is, like, the guy that says water is not a basic human right, then then they, apparently if he starts buying up all the water and everything like that and there's a monopoly, right? We're fucked. Yeah, they we're fucked. And that's where, like, Sherman antitrust laws came into play because, you know, like, people were being exploited from because people are getting rich off of just, like, just basic suffering. Yeah. And, you, you know, uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Um, I was just, man, I totally just lost my train of thought. It says, uh, it says right here that there's a city outside of Toronto. It's about 90 minutes outside of Toronto. It's called the First Nations Community. And Nestle is there, and they're pumping water out of there consistently to be bottled. And that town and the people there don't have access to clean drinking water. That's fucking That's crazy. Fu oh, my gosh. There's a movie... Can you? There's a movie with Owen Wilson. Check out his most recent movie. Starsky and Hutch. And uh, you mean to pray? Nah. No, no, <laughs> I, I love that, that movie. Man. Movie. I mean, his most no. recent. That movie's fucking hilarious. No, keep keep going though. There's one. Like, 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 different kinds no, of heat. It's, it's exactly what we're talking about. We, that story you just meant uh, mentioned. Maybe 2006 or seven. You just said most recent. Now it's 2006 or 2007. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not as most recent. But I didn't want you to go back to, you know, like uh, fucking Wedding Crashers. I didn't want you to go that far back. Wasn't that like 2006? 2006, 2006? What was the movie where you worked for Google? Kind of Vince Vaughn. The internship. Uh, no right. Escape? Yes. That's 2015. Read, read the plot to that, though. Forget when it was, dude. Let's talk about its relevance to what you just said. Uh, it says, in their new overseas house, an American family soon finds themselves caught in the middle of a coup, and they frantically look to escape from an environment where foreigners are immediately executed. Yeah, the plot of that movie is he works for a water company that goes into, like, this foreign country, and for some reason that country wants him out. You know, they don't want any of their water pipe, because it's exactly what George said. You know, they're going to take all their fresh water and sell it to them, giving them, like, very limited access to the fresh water. Yeah, that's, I, I so find it's that, crazy. That movie is you know three years old. I don't know whatever you just told us that article. Is that based off a true story? Or? It must be. I well, mean, this article is is fairly recent too, hmm. and basically just goes on to say that uh, they give of, an example of one kid that hasn't had running tap water since the age of sixteen. Think of how sick that is. So Nestle is going to this country <clears> that and so they have the fresh water there. They just can't access it for whatever yeah, technology. Nestle I would bought, assume Nestle probably bought the rights or bought the access to that. Well, or that That's amount so of gallons. That's so fucking dirty. How is that even legal? They go to a country and buy the access to the fresh water in a country where these people are... Well, before they bought you know, the politicians. Yeah, you've got to think about it. I mean, it's not really... You're not even thinking about... Somebody got a blowjob, somebody got jerked off. There might not be any laws. You're, there talking might about, not. you're talking about somewhere out thir or 90 minutes outside of Toronto. Toronto's the richest city in Canada. Hmm. It's not even like you're talking about, you know, some third world country... Where people have no access or limited access. I mean, you're 90 minutes from Toronto. Oh, this is happening in... This is in Canada. That's crazy. That is, and they don't have crazy. access to drinking water? Yeah, as I said, it just says limited access. And I mean, the, the title of the article says, While Nestle extracts millions of liters from their land, residents have no drinking water. Can and they're, kind of... they're apparently an indigenous tribe or people or whatever That's it is. So that they're not on the Toronto or, or the Canadian lines. we got to make some sort of like protest against Nestle for doing that. That's... Hey... That's stupid. For our next episode, we're going to get Drake on here and have him do something about this. And then Why ask Drake? him how much his personal assistant Because he's from Toronto. 
Yeah, but he's no, invested like, in that. Yeah. He's invested in that Nestle uh, project. <laughs> he's, he's like standing to gain off this. He's like, yeah, it's bitch. fucking crazy. You know, he throws his logo on the Nestle bottle. Um, like man, just as a whole, we will fucking do anything. We, we for money. We will we'll fuck anything. We'll kill anything. We'll monetize. We'll, uh, the next thing is we're gonna monetize air. We're gonna oh, try to fucking. That's probably already in the works. They have, yeah, that, probably they have is. that already in some can, in uh, some Chinese cities. Where That's they have so bottled awesome. or compressed oxygen. Yeah. Because it's better than the quality of Because of the smog over yeah. there. Yeah. There's regulations on how much you can pollute the air as well. They probably do it on purpose just for personal financial gain, like, later on. It's a future investment. Maybe. That's some yeah, conspiracy you, tinfoil you, hat shit happening. Like the, average per- right. the average person, decent person, you know, like, I'm not going to exploit anybody, right? You know, like, you know, the, the whole karma thing. And then there's the, like, you know, there's, like, the sociopaths, psychopaths, basic dickheads would be like... I'm taking it all. Mm. You know, like, they, they're just not happy with just, like, hey, everybody gets their fair share, or, you know, like, I'm just going to take what I need. No, I want it all. And that's where government has to come into play. Yeah, it's yeah. really... It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. There's, there has to be a check happens. and balance. And, uh, and unfortunately, like, you can never... Uh, you can never control people's morality and ethics by law. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could outlaw anything you want. That doesn't mean people are going to stop doing it. For instance, murder's outlawed, drugs are outlawed, uh, I mean, there's a mil- speeding's outlawed. People do it all day, every day. So until people change individually, like, you know, until mm-hmm. we as a, as, a, as, a, as a society, until we come to senses, I mean, like, this is, all this shit's going to keep keep going. It's going to keep happening. You're always going to, like, no matter, like, from, like, way back in, like, prehistoric mm-hmm. times to, like, now, you're mm-hmm. always going to have that, those people. Right. And, like, the small percentage of the per- population that just take their power and just go way overboard yeah so, you know like any king any you know like whatever like monarch they flex or, just because yeah, they can yeah exactly so it's like you know it's like you know like any empire that's invaded another country like why do you want to invade that country uh, we just want their stuff yeah right and yeah, we just want their stuff that's it though how much of a role do you think religion plays in this none none at all <laughs> in what what do you mean i don't know wars well, shit, that depends because I mean, like, there's a lot of a lot of wars are morality solely based you know, off you said financial that we can't, gain. We can't really. I, I think most use. wars are fought off of just like resources. You know, like, yeah, power. I, like I want that land because it gives us me access to a, a shipping port or something oil. like that. Mm. Uh, exactly, oil. Two of those wars. I mean, that's why, like, like Iraq invaded. Places. I mean, Kuwait, obviously, though. there were there were some wars that were religiously based. Uh, when you talk about like you know uh, the Crusades. Mm. I think that was obviously Christian versus Muslim and, you know, that whole thing. The Catholic Church versus... R. Um, Kelly. Versus R. Kelly. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we could out to each hand other. Hand. R. Kelly said, yo, I got this on my own. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> R. Kelly's doing like 16-year-old girls, though, and the Catholic Church is like, oh, those little boys, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> See, I'm sorry. It, it, it is what it is, though, it man. Is what it's it like... Is. It's not like, okay, hey. here's my thing with the Catholic Church, right? It's not like the fact that they breed pedophiles, right? It's like if you tell a dude that he can't have sex for the rest of his life, right? Who's going to join that? Who's, I'm not going to be a priest. I'm, I'm an atheist anyway, but I'm not going to be a priest. I'm like, wait, I can't have sex at all? So who's going like, to fill that position? Pedophiles. That's why you have the pedophile. Pedoph- no, really. Think about pedophile. it. It was like, I, I don't <laughs> like chicks anyway, right? I'm not gay. But the thing is, they got access to little boys. Uh, sign me up. That's what they're doing. So basically what they have to do is stop, the, the Catholic Church has to stop asking, you know, would-be priests to be abstinent. And to any, any other clergy have that problem in any religion? Not really. not the they Catholic, do, but you Catholic, know what? They, I mean, they're they pretty sure there's some, though, but not as bad as the Catholic Church. That's yeah, absolutely not. right. The Ca- well, and that's the only Just thing. that religion is kind of kooky, don't you think? P- put it this way. The Catholic Church is like the poster child of of Christianity. And Christianity is obviously huge globally, right? Unfortunately, the Catholic Church is fucking scripturally inaccurate. 150%. Most of their traditions are all made up. Yeah. They're like, it's it's not scripturally religion, backed. Yeah. It's like not, you know, there, there's no substance behind what they do. And l- they literally, and you can actually research this also, they they proclaim their authority to change shit the way that they want it by they their s- own authority. Right. They say, hey, look, if we 
weren't authorized to do this, then we wouldn't, and we couldn't. Like, what? So we're doing it. Yeah. They, I mean, like... <laughs> That's like the classic, because I'm your father and I said so argument. Pretty much. Well, I mean, it's like on a whole grander like whatever... scale, because you're affecting billions of oh, people, yeah, but... Sure. Well, God said whatever, like paraphrasing, but like whatever you hold to be true on earth, I will hold to be true in heaven. I guess that's where it comes from. But I mean, again, they just make laws that fit their need, and that's most religions anyway. Mm -hmm. I just think about it, though. It's like I mean, I mean, I think it's all made up, though. I don't I mean I'm not going to argue religion with people, though. But like, I think a lot of it's just made up, like just a glorified sun worship, like fabulized sun worship. Hmm. There's so many different kinds of religions, right? Thousands, over thousands. So I, I think it was like I'm not three I or four thousand. Yeah, 80s. I wouldn't consider myself religious, but I I do find it interesting that religion is something that you know we hear stories about and has a history of predating any kind of technology. You know, before you could share information from one part of the world to the other. I think it's interesting that we think you know like. There are people that think religion, like you said, is made up or doesn't exist or whatever the case is, but yet thousands and thousands of years ago, people on this side of the world felt like there was some kind of God, some kind of higher power, and so did people over here. You know, So they had no chance to tell the stories to each other, but yet there are multiple accounts of people believing these things. Well, there's like the polytheism, and then there's like the monotheism, and like just different gods, though, but when, you, when it all comes down to it, it's all sun worship. Because like they I worship mean, the sun, they worship know. the moon, they worship the stars, everything like that. Greek mythology, it's all about the constellations, you know, like, you know, Orion and all that other crap. So just think of it that way, because, like, I mean, they didn't have TV back then. All they did was look at the fucking, like, the sun and, like, where it's set and the moon, the stars was, like, basically, that's all they had to look at. And, mm -hmm. like, and a campfire, that's about it. Well, there is applied, if you think about, like, there, there is applied logic, and it's, 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 it's not very difficult to look at what happens today and apply that to, again, apply the logic to maybe that's where we started. For instance, I'll give you a perfect example. Humans are born. We, we you know, obviously we see mothers birth younger babies. We see plants birth seeds. Well, not birth seeds, but, um, you know, they have seeds. I've never they seen plant, plant labor in my life, dude. <laughs> they see other, yeah, I, I used the wrong word. They, they, they make other plants. So we have to assume just by logic alone, that what we see has always happened. Meaning, man had to have come from somewhere. To explain it by like, you know, and this is this is where I disagree with the majority of science, and I'm a big science guru. Like, but Ooh, this is where, I, I, yeah, this is where I, I disagree with, uh, I shouldn't say, maybe that's an overstatement. Guru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really not, sure, not, I don't have any I credentials. I <laughs> This is where I, I don't agree with science. When you explain something as coming from a, just saying a primordial soup, like that's not an explanation. Just that, a bit, literally a bang, a big bang. No, no, no. Saying, hey, look, all this shit mixed together. Like the first proteins mixed in with the amino yeah, acids. Okay, uh, what's it? Bio, uh, biogenesis. I think. I can't yes. think of it, but that's exactly it. Yeah. So I mean, but that doesn't make sense because it. It's one, too complex. It, well, not that it's complex. We can't repeat it. So therefore, it doesn't even follow the scientific method. But the, Meaning, just, you, just when you say we, we can't, can't repeat, hold on one sec, Dre. When you say we can't repeat, I just want to make sure I'm following because you guys obviously are a little more informed of of this than I am. But we can't repeat as, and we can't create life from not life, right. from nothing. That's correct. Okay. But just because we can't do it now doesn't mean that we won't be able to do it in the future. I mean, because like we couldn't clone anything. What? 50 years ago? Right. We can now do that now. And the thing is, science doesn't have all the answers now. But what they have is like, they're like, this is what we do know. We don't know all of this. Right. right. Where you can't just say, God did all of this. Because that's just a simple, and it's a straw man argument, though. God did it. Then there's the other thing is like, well, where did God come from? And the thing is, and again, science doesn't have all the answers. Correct. But, you know, it's like, okay, we now figured this out. we we now figure this out and this out and this out. And, it can, and it's going to keep going and going and going and going. But let me add on to what you're saying. So we know exactly, the science community knows exactly what the human body is made of in percentages. We know that it's this percent oxygen, this percent gold, this percent carbon whatever, blah, 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 down to the, f the fractals of 
of of elements. We we know exactly what we're made of. Down to the picogram. Yes. I don't know what that means. But in essence, we should be able to Pictogram, because yeah. we can clone, because we know about genetics, we know we should be able to take all those ingredients. Sort of like and I'm 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 totally oversimplifying this just to make a point. Sort of like making a muffin. We know what the ingredients are in the muffin. We know how much of what needs to be involved. We put them all together. We put it in the oven. Guess what? We make a fucking so like muffin. So there's a recipe for it. If we did that with flesh, if we, we know that we all come from the earth, we know what all the elements are. If we put it together, formed it as a human, it would never live. So you're saying that we, it can't create, like, what? We're, consciousness? We're, basically, what, what you're trying to do life. is... Life. No, we can't recreate life. Your tr thing is, like, just because we haven't done it doesn't mean we can't re uh, reverse engineer the, this building blocks of life. I mean, there's a point that we probably will be able to do that. Wouldn't you agree, though? It's like, well, that's very speculative, yeah. right? No, but, I mean, look what we've done with cloning. Like, we've, I guess we've reverse engineered... How like, close are we to recreating life from so nothing? I have a really good article I just found. It's uh, from Chinese... It was a Chinese scientist... I don't trust it. ...that cloned two Fake monkeys. News. <laughs> I'm looking at a picture of two monkeys that they literally cloned them, and they said it was a breakthrough, a technical breakthrough of a barrier that could open the door to copying humans. Ooh. And there's literally, they literally got through with cloning these two monkeys right here. Oh, absolutely. Cloning is, is to think about what you're but saying. But you need, you cloning need a is, living thing yes. to create a clone. You need something. I think life the question is taking, life. right. So you so need the, life what to came create first, life. Chicken or the, the egg. I mean, the so like basically you're, saying, you're going down like the first single cell organism. Exactly. Like when they, and again, well, I'm, it's, I'm it's like it's a, a the first amino acids combining with the first protein. So it's basically figuring out like all like how do we do that again and again like we weren't there when that first happened. So like doesn't mean that we again we won't be able to do yeah, that. We're talking later. about billions of years, right? Yeah, billions of years, basically. But, yeah. Right, and I, and I totally agree with you. However, with the scientific method, a, a lot of that stuff. So if you use the scientific method, it has to be repeatable and it has to be observable. That's why a lot of people that say, oh, well, 12 billion years ago, this is what happened. And a lot of people discredit that because, like, hey, you don't know what happened 12 billion years ago. You can't observe it and you can't repeat it. However, There's life... There's lingering ev evidence of it, though. That's what they're basing everything off of. Correct. But it's, it's, it's very, very speculative. It, it, can, it can be... It can be uh, Literally, it's almost like faith. Ripped apart. It's almost like faith. You have to, to have some faith degree. in some of the science. I mean, like you know, it's like one of those things where, like, this is what it points to. But to say for a fact, man, now you're stretching. And what I'm saying is that we can use what we see today, which is a, which is observable, which is repeatable. We see that life in every kind of example only comes from other life. So it like there is. We haven't seen one instance whatsoever in the history of man where life came from anything other than other life. So you're saying that because our science is so concrete and proven, and the fact that we can't figure out where we came from, that it has to be a higher being. I'm no, no, no. What I'm saying is that if we apply logic, if we apply, if we if we apply the logic, well, look, this is where babies come from. This is where other plants come from. Comes from other plants. We have to come from something living. Well, let's apply Occam's razor to it. So you're basically taking sorry, two, two whoa, whoa. Occam's razor. You're taking two, two, I, two ideas for right? the people at home that may right, not know what Occam's okay, razor you're, means. You're, you're taking two conflicting do. ideas, right? Now, the one that has the least amount of assumptions at the end of it, right? So, like, basically, okay, oh, over here is God, right? God created everything. Mm -hmm. So, like, who created God? Okay. Now, the other hand is like. It happened through a bunch of series of like you know events and everything like that that was just evolution and everything like that and you know obviously the, the genesis was the big bang they, like the big bang so we like we, everyone has the least amount of like whatever like at the end the least amount of questions at the end right is the one that you should go to now it's a it's just a rule of thumb it's just not a law of course or, yeah it's no but law. it's just like the thing is Occam's razor based on goes in favor of Oh, wow. Evolu ev evolution and everything like that. So, I mean, and again, these are like the best and the brightest that we have coming up with these things, right? And again, they're not 100% right. Not 100%. Like, there's things been like, like hypothesis and been disproven and everything like that. Absolutely. But theories are, and people mistake theory and a hypothesis all the time. They're like, you know, like, I have a theory of like a, a law and order episode. No, you have a hypothesis, an educated guess. Right. A theory so, There are a million that's... theories that the scientific community use as fact, which is no, 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 the, the, like again, gravity and all, you know. Yeah, the thing is, and that's usually what, it, that is what a yes. theory is, though, but the thing is, mo if, 
like the like the, the hypothesis the, is more of a the guess. colloquial the, the colloquial meaning versus the actual meaning of theory is completely different. The colloquial meaning of theory is just it's a hypothesis, right? I I have an educated guess of what happened, but the actual right. theory is almost a like you know almost uh, a fact. Yeah, it's basically sort a of fact. like it's an, uh, it's it's an axiom of truth basically. I so the theory of, agree. So the theory of evolution. It, it's, it's, it's tried and tested and they, 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 much more they, than a they, hypothesis. Yeah, well, the thing is, like they, they've noticed certain patterns through, like you know, finding like, and, like you know, okay, this is sure. growing this way, this is going this way, this is going. I'm trying this to do way. that off camera. You no, know, they found like you know, like there's a link between us and you know, like other other huh? primates. Right. So and, it's and like monkeys. Well, so we share yeah, genetics. Yeah, we share like the same like you know. But you know what's not advertised answer. a lot of the time is that we share a lot of genetics and and, and commonalities and similarities with, let's say, like a, a, a banana. You know, we have a. Well, at, at, one, at one point, like you know, everything branched off. You know, it's like yeah. branched, like just different ramifications of it's like a family tree. Almost. Yeah, so it's like you know, like the I, I don't know the the lineage of like you know, there's like the what genius species, phylum order. You know, all the kingdoms and all right. that stuff. So it's kingdom. like, so like there's different kingdoms. There's a plant, uh, obviously reptile, man, like you know, and then like the, you know everything branches off. But thing is like. It all comes down to like single cell organisms that obviously, you know, like meiosis, mitosis, you know, the difference between those two. So it basically, everything started branching off, branching off. And then species have like, what, 99.9% .9 of the species that ever lived on this planet are extinct. You guys so they, are way beyond my fucking realm No, but the thing is like, there's, there's <laughs> ones that lived and there's mm -hmm. ones that died. So, and that's the thing, it's like, we're the oh, ones that nice. made it. Did I get it right? Class, I missed class. Is that, <laughs> is that a fox? It's a red fox. What way. does the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh, but I'm you know, I, I, I appreciate science, and I appreciate the I appreciate solid science. That's I guess that's where I where I stand. I don't appreciate um, I don't appreciate people that say things that are fact that are not anywhere near proven as fact. Like what? It might be chic. It might be faddish. It might be scientifically intelligent. To say this, however, the when person that's stating fact, it, right? You can't say for certain. You can't tell me definitively that it is. Well, I'm not even saying. I'm not even saying like you yourself have to prove it. I, what I'm saying is that. So when you when somebody says to me, evolution is proven, I'm like, obviously you have never studied evolution. No, because it's still a theory. You, you have know, no, not even that. Again, it's not even that because there there are. For instance, Newton's second law of thermodynamics is a theory. What, but you're it's, saying, hold on, it's the basis think of, of the a words lot of do me a favor. scientific fact. Backtrack for a second. Think of yeah. the, the words you just used. Right. Newton's law is very different than the theory of evolution. It's not the law of evolution, correct? But what I'm saying, and I think this is what Andre was saying, is that there's a lot of theories out there. Mm. Uh, and I, Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm not articulating it properly, but let's say like the theory of gravity. Everybody knows gravity exists. It's just... Everybody accepts that, you know. That's so, so. What would be the difference? And I'm not even saying that gravity is a theory. A theory. No, no. The thing is, I'm saying there, there's it, it, it there's some theory. theories that are just like they're the common uh, definition. That gravity you would is gravity a theory. Is, like, gravity okay, is somebody still thinks a theory. This to be true. Just the mass, you know, most people agree with it and accept it, but it's still a theory, correct? No. Okay, you're, you're okay. You're mistaking hypothesis with. Educated guess. That's what the hypothesis. No, is. I think I got the difference between those. And, and then theory. The theory is much more. It's, it's tested. And it's accepted. tested and, and peer reviewed yeah. and everything like that. But e but but it does There mean are it's some fact, theories, right? Right. Exactly. That that, that that can be like disproven, but it's unlikely. I think we all agree with that. So I'm just curious as to what separates uh, a theory, whether it be a good, you know, a great theory, which most people accept. Yeah. What separates a theory and a law? Well, uh, that technically, I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't know. Probably the, the, being absolutely proven, but then I don't know if that could work anyway because evolution doesn't. Really, I mean, you can prove certain facts of evolution. Hmm. So how could it, how could evolution be a theory if you can well, prove certain facts? So we need somebody that know. Well, well, we have two people that know a lot about it. Actually, I the should internet stop knows talking. A lot. <laughs> well, let I mean, me comment on a that. Scientist as well. Uh, uh, Jay is a science guru. guru. <laughs> I think I got to be honest. I think we're kind of. For we're the going, record, I don't going know shit about science, this. <laughs> but we're going I, I want to comment on what you're saying as far as, uh, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you want so, piggyback your idea. I'll give you an example. For evolution, I don't think evolution could be a theory. I think it would more have to be a law or a fact. 
Because, I mean, if you look, say, say for example, like your appendages, like say you have your, your pinky or your pinky toe, they're getting smaller generation after generation after generation. I mean, if you look, it's a fact that that's happened. Right, right. the digital organ, organs like, you know, the appendix and, uh, what else, like tonsils, I believe? Tonsils. Yeah. yeah. It's like, we um, no longer need them. See, I, I, the appendix is where the, the digest raw meat, right? Yeah, it's, it's the di exactly. I mean... Is that what that's for? It's, I don't, no, is it your appendix that does that? But I yeah, know that yeah, it, you, don't, you no longer yeah. need that. Interesting. What do you organs is to, to do to eat raw so meat that you don't have you ever heard the theory of the fact or the reason that, you know, humans evolved the way they did and our brains are able to um, perform in the way that they are was our ability to cook meat? Did you ever read what that or hear anything about that? Saying? Like we, when we went from, you know, when cavemen went from figuring out fire... Now they're cooking their meat instead of eating it raw. That that played a large factor in our evolution well, as humans. I think nutrition in itself like has a lot to do with our. I think you're 100 right. As well. well, let you know? me say, let me because comment really fast on, and I'll get back to what you're saying. Oh, thanks, man. Well, <laughs> I'll get back. To, I'll get back to. <laughs> well, that. just because we just kind of bounce really fast, so. What were we saying again? <laughs> Dude, we can't keep doing this. We're wasting can't, the viewers' can't. time. We're wasting our time, guy. <laughs> no, you, 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 it's like I want to comment on you it. You were so saying there's certain things about our body that are obviously evolving. Blah, well, blah, blah. My, my point Correct. back oh, okay. to about this is what I was going to say. Right. It, yeah. I, you can't deny certain things. The, those, those are scientific facts, like, like you're saying. However, there has never been an example in a human history. Now, I want you to think about this. This is not me saying this, so don't kill the messenger when you hear this. This is scientific fact. There has never been an example of a species evolving into another species. We don't have proof of that. We have examples of species evolve, like for instance, like a, a canine evolving into another breed of canine. Right, right. But they're all canines. We have. Oh, that's a different species. Yeah, but that's no. That's you know, all the same genius, species. Genius species. Species is like the like. Okay, like we share the same DNA as like any ape, right? All the great apes, right? So like, like they, the species is Homo, like the the genius is Homo gay and ass apes. and uh, gay ass apes, right? And the well, species is same. sapiens, same homo, ass, like, there used to be like Homo erectus, ass, Homo habilis, homo, homo, gay man apes. So there, another there's apes other dick. species that we've evolved from, like Homo erectus. We don't homo, have any proof of that. There's been plenty of proof. Homo no, erectus. There is absolutely, there is. absolutely there is. zero. Not in our fossil records. Not in our. You'll never see. And if let me let me just say this. If evolution, according to Darwin, according to Darwin's evolutionary theory, were true, today we would see one species evolving into another. We would see halfway... But I think that that's happening every day. No, the evolution... No, it's, evolution, it's not. There's no proof of that. No, but well, evolution, evolution is our, 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 millions of years. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, our, our, it's, it's very, very, very slow. It's listen very, listen very, to what I'm slow. saying. This is, this, is not, this is not opinion. This is not, this is not me saying this. We have n zero evidence of species evolving into another species, of a, of a dog evolving into a cat. I got one for the, you. Of a Let me ask you evolving this. Evolving into a, Let me a tree or Can you know, know, whatever. I, I think I have one. Branched off. Yeah, but they branch right. off. I mean, the example would be like a wolf, a wolf to a dog that somebody would have in their house. I mean, if, it, throughout the process of. But you that's know, the same. That's the same lineage. Those are wolf, very different animals. Dog, whatever. Extremely well, different animals. What? No, 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 it's not. A wolf, a and, a wolf dog? and a dog? Don't fucking those confuse are, it. Those dog. are not Listen, extremely If you get attacked animals. by a dog, you have a chance at surviving. Hold on, don't Listen, interrupt me. pull that up. Don't interrupt me, though. If you get attacked but by you're a saying wolf... It and I'm, Listen, I'm trying to... But you're interrupting again. If you get attacked by a wolf, yep. you have zero chance of survival. Dude, you're an idiot. If you get attacked by a dog, <laughs> you could probably kick that. I'm just letting you know, they're not the same. I think a wolf's bite force is like something like... 600 times more than a pit bull. Check that shit out, dude. They're extremely different animals. They're yeah. bigger. They're, oh my god. Yeah, even coyotes. Yeah, they're fuck with different, different, different species. They're all of coyotes the, you are know, interesting. Dude, they're, they're all of the dog family. Fuck. It's like... <laughs> you know how it's canine, so, right? It's what like, what I'm saying is that you'll never see, like, let's say, a whale evolving into a... When you say you'll never see... The, how do you explain this? Yeah, before we get a whale, 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 whale is a mammal. Before we get off topic... How do you explain a caterpillar mm -hmm. evolving into a butterfly? That's a completely different fucking thing. Is it? That was I, don't, I don't know. Form, I, I don't Think know. I can't answer that. Have you ever seen a caterpillar? Have you ever seen a caterpillar? Have you ever seen a butterfly? 
You're telling no, me they're the same a butterfly, thing. Uh, uh, caterpillar are they the is same thing? Young butterfly, you know, like you know, it hasn't. Those are the same thing. Yet. What what I'm what I'm saying is that caterpillar butterfly. You, you'll never see like look it okay, up. <laughs> look it up <laughs> from a single cell organism evolving into let's say again a, a banana and then a banana evolving into a, an animal. That that'll yeah, it, 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 there's no proof for that. No, but thing is, in, in our lifetime, it is yeah. impossible to see that. Like in the finite amount of time that I have on this earth, it's probably we have no like, record of it. probably like eighty. No, but we 80 have years. records of every. I mean, we have fossil records that say you know Di- our backs used to be arched this way because we used to do a lot of running. Oh, you know what I mean? We did, right. we ran this you, way. Or we used all fours. Or we climbed on trees, so our pinkies were larger. No, 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 different no. things like that. What about birds no. evolving have, from we dinosaurs? We we have record of the human right. species evolving into a different kind of human, which well, I, I agree. Mean, I'm with. not going to evolve I, into a banana. Well, but that's what like evolve into okay. a banana. You never know. I, mean, I might feel like a banana. I, I know right it's now. comical, but that's right exactly now. what the Darwinian theory is. They're saying that we have. No, a, I think you're taking it to an extreme. I mean, I think I think, I think what not the theory is saying. I is think that, you want to see it like really quickly though, and yeah. that's that's where people like they just don't have the patience to see it. Though. So it's what's like, more likely like, to happen might be like twenty thousand years from now. People have some weird animal that we have no knowledge of because it's in the future, and they and they years, see a maybe. fossil of a dog, and they f- somehow find out, hey, this was so once a dog. Listen, you know, like, think think about what you're saying right now. We I have don't know. Just... we talk about billions of years when we're talking about the history of the Earth. Right, right. We don't have any fossil records whatsoever of an animal transitioning. I Zero. F- I feel like well, something being a, a fossil. An animal. I mean, if you take wolf. A wolf fossil from a million years ago, and a wolf fossil now, it's evolved to where it is now. But that's a wolf to wolf. No, but they seem yeah, like there's fossils, gonna, like, it, there's like I mean, rec- like bones and records of cavemen. Yeah, so it's evolved. And, and thing, is, like, and thing is, if we went back to the caveman time, right? Wait, we, hold on. As a human being, I could not, I could not pr- reproduce with one of those, with one, a cave person, a cave woman. Oh, that's interesting. But when I you don't say cave person, because if you isolate a species you from a thousand years, a if you woman? isolated us from an, like if you isolated Harry if you Bush. isolated Whoa, like a group of humans for a thousand years, this is what they're saying for a thousand years. Oh, I must smell terrible. They will no longer be allowed. They can no longer re- reproduce with human beings. So guess what? That's another species. I think, Absolutely I not. Think we, I think we dove into this very deeply. I think well, we. I think we went. Well, species in is the last. Is the last really ramification. Ran through this topic. I mean, it seems like on every podcast we kind of delve into uh, something more yeah. more deep, deep. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I, I definitely don't want But somebody like, mentioned coyotes I, in this whole tangent of is. shit that was going around. Do you know how smart coyotes are? Coyotes are Tell an impressive... <laughs> They're coyotes not as are, smart as roadrunners. So check this out. <laughs> no. So in coy- <laughs> I mean, yo, that dude could order some shit from Acme, though. Like, yo, like, he got yeah, all the... Like how did he get this TNT? That fucking... Roadrunner was working for ISIS or something. He had all the bombs. ISIS <laughs> Roadrunner. Yeah, or the Coyote. He had all the bombs, dude. He was calling Tony Stark and everything. Wait, let, let, so but coyotes, right? Yep. So you know how here where we are in New England, not you know you might go outside and see some raccoons or some possums and shit or cats, straight yeah, cats running around everywhere. I ain't calling you a coon, <laughs> bro. You know. That. Hey, speaking of that, was our last episode. Who was that dude that said coon? Moving uh, on. Let, quick, let me let me just the get meteorologist. Remember, you spoke for forty five minutes. Let me get a point out. So coyotes in L.A. or in California, they're like completely severely overpopulated. You know, they're everywhere. They're pretty much infesting the streets. But they're so smart that they walk around daylight with people. And if they're coming to a major intersection, they've learned to not cross the road until the light turns red. Crazy. All right. So next topic. You don't find that incredible, dude? Hey, we got any uh, honestly, no. I, 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 yeah, go for it. Dude. You gotta take a piss. Go take a piss. Man. I absolutely. I hey, you don't absolutely have any like, do, valuables in there, do you? Fuck no, it's my bathroom. Right, cool. <laughs> actually, I, I find that actually incredible. And there's a lot of examples of animals doing that. Um, there was the example of the monkeys on. I, I forgot what it was, it was on some specific island, and we were dropping fruits to them, and it had a hard shell, and they actually through process of. Uh, a trial and error. They learned how to break, break the shell. The rocks. I saw but, that. Yeah, yeah, break the shell, eat the fruit, and you know whatever. But here's the here's the the crazy part of it. So the same monkeys on a different part of the fucking globe. We dropped some fruit on them, and they automatically knew how to do it. That's hmm. crazy. Maybe they just they didn't have to go through the trial and error. Maybe on that different part of the world, the, you know, like fruits or similar fruits. <laughs> they're more accustomed to you know it's just you know yeah it's, i mean you know it's going along the lines of what you're saying like animals learn shit 
Oh, you know, for sure, for sure. Like yeah. the, uh, What's, I got a really good example, uh, not to go off, but I got a really good example of that. Across the street from where I live, there's, uh, there was a group of cats. There was about eight cats, and they were all part of the same cats. family. No joke. The I used lady, to eat cats. I used to. Yeah, I love cats. The, uh, the lady across the street used to take care of them, right? And out of eight cats, seven of them died by car. On my street, they're all outside cats. Were they Dumbass drinking? They were just, driving? <laughs> no, they, no just, they just saw they just their brother and sister run. So there's to the one cat the left, a black cat, and he comes to my house every other day or so to see if I'll feed him. And sometimes I'll feed him, and you know, it's a really nice cat. Why well, gotta be a black cat? Lives outside, of course, it's a black cat. <laughs> my <laughs> nigga. So uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the crazy part is, is that at the, the my street's pretty busy, obviously, yeah. as you can tell. What the cat will do is I'll shake the bag of food, and the cat will run all the way to the street. And right when it gets to the edge of the street on that side, the cat will stop, and it will look both directions three or four times, wait, and make sure he can't hear anything, and then it will come across the street. That's crazy. Every single time. It's It's fascinating. It's amazing. When people come over, I show it. It's just fascinating, and it does it. It's super amazing. Because it just knows at this point. Well, hey, look. Let's jump. That's that's an amazing story. But anyway. (laughs) Wait. This is very, very similar to what we just said about animals evolving and... How you talked about yeah. those monkeys learning how to use the coconuts. George, I definitely need your help looking this up because I don't want to fuck it up. But So, obviously, prosti- obviously uh, pr- prostitution is illegal. There's a study you can look up. I don't know if it was in a zoo or in some sort of lab, but it was either gorillas or apes. What these uh, scientists did was they, they gave the gorillas um, or they gave the apes, you know, some form of currency, whether it was it was maybe a coin or something, but... Anytime the gorillas did something, you know, good, worthy of praise, they would get a coin. You know, if they did something bad, the scientists would take away a coin. So over the course of time, they taught these gorillas that, hey, these coins are worth something. Because what they would do is they would give them snacks. They give the gorilla snacks, they take a coin. You know, so these now these gorillas understand, hey, this is what's a form of currency. It's condition behavior. They go, what's yeah. going on? Right. Have all of his dogs. So once these gorillas learned that there was value to the coins... The first thing that they did was the female gorillas would have sex with the males and take the coins. So they were out there hooking, dude. To learn the first the thing they did they found was just the becoming coins. prostitutes. And that's why they say it's the world's oldest profession, right? Yeah, I don't know if you can find that, but I heard that on a few. Yeah, there's, you know, a, few there's a couple of articles. This is, a lot of them are blocked, but well, it just goes to show. That women will do anything for money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think what it goes to show. I think what it goes to show is that prostitution guru. should probably be legal. <laughs> you know, everybody's getting what they want. You know, there's no reason that two consenting adults shouldn't be able to exchange currency for sex. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's we were talking about the last episode, like the government being involved in shit that they shouldn't be. You know, telling us to wear seatbelts. Like, fuck you. I, if I don't want to wear a seatbelt, I ain't fucking wearing I think that's incredible. Like like Andre said, you know, they, they say that's the oldest form of business. You know, basically. business, yeah. yeah. I mean, because it's, it's so deep in our DNA, you know, to just... It's crazy to and hear also, that animals are doing it. I think I, I mean, animals the, like, are doing it. These bitches are out there sucking I, a really dick for money. I actually even heard that dolphins have sex for pleasure. Yeah. I'm like... What the fuck? Dude, only, only there was species. a woman that yeah, had yeah, yeah, a only. dolphin. There was a woman that had a dolphin. Like, she had it for a study for SeaWorld or something. But whatever the case was, she was in charge <laughs> of taking care of this dolphin. And she was jerking that dolphin off. Like, stroking that dolphin dick. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, What's wrong? Did you hear I'm this? thinking about the Chappelle show. It's like, oh, Flipper, I know it's James, a nigga hating dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> remember that? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. What's wrong with jerking a dolphin off? Man? I mean, it's just, and you hear that. It's common. A lot of what people jerk their dogs. Or something like a that? lot of people jerk off their dogs just to kind of like make sure their dogs are like happy. A lot of people. Maybe a lot of people. Uh, uh, no, you own dogs. Talking all more the time. than one. It's more than <laughs> you one. You own a lot of dogs. I think or if what? more than one person is jerking off a dog, to me, that's a lot. Because it should be zero. Like out of like what jerking. eight, like seven billion seven people. I still yeah. think yeah. zero seven people should bill. jerk off dogs. Listen, like, out, I, of se- out of seven billion people, there's I'm pretty sure somebody sucked a dog's dick, but it's not like an epidemic or oh, anything I've like seen that. that though. Nah, there's definitely girls out there. There's definitely that? girls out there. Uh-huh, I've seen. Hey, I want to tell you a story real fast. So like when I was oh, like pink dick, probably popping out at him. Fourteen or fifteen. Like I grew up in Jersey, right? What the fuck? Me and my boy went to New York City. Part of Jersey. Hey, you still got dog cum on your lip. Dog cum. West Orange. Essex County. Okay, I know this. So, <clears throat> me and my boy, we go into to New York City, and we go into the village, and, you know, there's fucking tons of sex shops and whatever, blah, blah, blah. They're selling dildos and fucking Chinese swings and whatever, all that stuff. 
Mm. And like we're like young, obviously we're young teenagers. We're young just thugs, like, experimental, like, what, what the curious, fuck? whatever. Yeah. Behind the ears. We walk into the back of the fucking store. There's a live show going on. People fucking like on a stage, and around the stage are booths that you go into, and you can you know put money in whatever, and a screen will you know the the, mm. the screen. I, I, this is what my friend told me. Yeah, I didn't do this. How much money? Oh, did you bring? How much money? <laughs> how much money did you bring? How much money did you bring? With you? How much money but did you bring with you? hold on. So like, all right. So you can do that, or you can. There's like a TV screen in there, and you pick what you like, what you want to watch. Pretty much anything. Like that VR bestiality, porn. gay porn, fucking whatever. Blah blah blah. It's all there for you to watch and jerk off and blah. blah. And I'm like, definitely through the, the advent of the internet, right? So <laughs> hold on. So like, I'm like. I'm a young kid, you know, and, and to me, this is all exciting. I'm like, where am I right now? Hmm. Right? Me and my boy were laughing hard as fuck at, like, you know, just everything around us. We see the janitor walking in and out of the fucking booze with a mop. And I think it's like, special man. Kind of dude to do that, right? So talking like, about salaries, how much does that janitor get so paid? What, do you, <laughs> what, what do you kind do of work? fucking, like, where are you in your life up, if you're that janitor, the, Dude, that janitor is like, yo, I've seen it all, dude. Like, I've he can write, like, three bestsellers. Like, just like, yo, believe me, I've seen it all. There's not like there's I mean, nothing I, that, that dude, you can see, like, somebody gets shot in the head and be like, okay. <laughs> I mean, think about when somebody asks you, like, hey, what's your career? And you're like, oh, man, I mop come up. What the put fuck? that on your resume. Come yeah. mopper. Come mopper. <laughs> but hey, so you know, sick. like there's, there's people out there that have to do that shit. And I'm sure t- today, so fast forward 20 years, it's got to be even more like. Well, now you have like, I don't even wonder what the yeah. fuck is going on I think in New York it, well, City. How crazy does it I, get? I, know, I used like, to have to go seen... to a bar and like harass like you know women like hey you want to sleep with me like go like you know then like the end of the night they'll be like swipe. you'll do you yeah. know now yeah. it's just like if I was single like just swipe though swipe like, swipe. oh it's yeah crazy hey AIDS is gonna make a comeback man actually don't even, AIDS is not even an issue anymore I think syphilis made a comeback in Rhode Island because of Tinder did it yeah well they got a new thing called super gonorrhea have you guys heard of that. Super gonorrhea. Yeah, no, the I'm worst glad case I have So now, so please, so now we're revering. Listen, because no, because, because, because it evolved. I'm super gonorrhea. Because it evolved. Hey. Listen, I saw, because I saw, it evolved, <laughs> right? Yep. That that virus evolved. I saw hey. I saw an article that literally said that somebody has the worst case ever recorded in history of uh, the history of being a human. The worst gonorrhea case ever, and they're calling you super gonorrhea. Could you imagine being that person? No, that dude should just—they should shoot him though. Like we don't need that shit. We don't need new diseases. We need that cure. I'm eating a bullet when the doctor tells me I got super gonorrhea. Hey, listen, we've never seen (laughs) like penicillin won't cure it. Like no no, no (laughs) way anybody. Super gonorrhea. I mean, like again, that's almost there's almost a revere. Don't they just call that herpes or something like that? Imagine the doctor coming (laughs) out and being like, "Wow." (laughs) (laughs) Yo, all the other doctors coming out like, "Yo, that's him. That's him, right?" (laughs) You think you're getting acupuncture? It's just penicillin everywhere. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Burn the body and then the ashes. <laughs> like I got this gonorrhea. Here, step into this white suit. Like, like there's a cordon around you. <laughs> Quarantine. This is like nothing Puro won't do. Like nah. So how about this? How about this other story though? Like Gillette and their commercial. Have you seen this commercial? Oh, that toxic masculinity commercial. Yeah. I said, did you watch the commercial? I did. I watched the commercial, and I. Uh, when I see an ad, right? First of all, I saw a couple of headlines today, and it's so funny how these journalists or you know these pages will create a headline in, a, in an extremely biased way, you know, but about the same. Yeah, they're article, trying to sell you yeah, an idea about the same article. Well, you got a totally article, different idea. People just read course, the headline. Yeah. No. So I saw one headline, and it said, "That's the attention grabber." So yeah. hear me out. I saw one headline, and the title said something along the lines of. Gillette losing loyal lifetime customers over leftist toxic, you know, toxic masculinity propaganda ad. Then I saw another ad that said, "Finally, a company is you know like Gillette stepping out and stepping up to what the world needs right now." So same article, you know, same ad, of course, two very different opinions. So I watch it, and usually I go in pretty, uh, you know, I don't want to say closed minded, but when I see that. A company is is jumping on this. What seems to be like the Me Too movement. Yeah, you know the the hashtag Me Too movement, yeah, where it's you know it's and that's really where it all stems from. But a company jumping on that, like, hey, let's let's push the lefty agenda. You know that liberal agenda. The you know the that a little more. I go in a bit close minded because I, 
that's a conversation for another day. But anyways, well, I watched it. Is no, it clo- you, you say that. closed-minded. Is it closed-minded or is it just like... I like, disagree I, with I, it. You're I, right. I, I go in disagreeing with it, but I'm going to give it a shot. I watched the ad yeah. and I didn't think the ad was, you know, was too crazy. There was one scene in the ad where, you know, George, can you actually pull the video up so we can watch it and just kind of refresh? But there's a scene in the, the commercial where there's a grown man at a barbecue where they're, you know, they're, they're, there's a his, line of grown men, right? A bunch of grown men at a barbecue and there's kids playing, you know, and two of the boys start fighting and that phrase, you know, boys will be boys kind of popped up and maybe back in the day that was how they handled that. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's a boys will be boys situation. Me personally, you know, I have a, a five-year-old, I think, and a nine-year-old. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. But, uh, <laughs> You know, if my five year old can call me dad, I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> it's like one's got red hair. It's like, where did that even come from? But one's so, pure Irish. <laughs> the other one's black. Like, the other one's black. black. And Doing a little like, Irish jig. <laughs> yeah. Top so, of the morning to you, dad. But, <laughs> but you know, if either one of my kids was, by the way, no Irish people say that. But if either one of my kids was, you know, in a fight, I wouldn't look at him and say, "Well, boys will be boys." You know, I, I would break it up. And I'd be like, hey, man, like, why are you two kids fighting? You know, you're friends. you got to figure out a way to do this without fighting. You know, so I didn't think that was too, you know, like, quote-unquote progressive or crazy of an ad as I thought it was going to be at first. I'm glad I watched it, you know? Well, you look at the overall tone of it. It's definitely trying to sell you an ideology. Of course. You know, and I, you look, I totally agree that humans should try to be better. We should try to be... Kinder, nicer, whatever, blah, more patient, tolerant, blah, 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 whatever. You want to put that in your ad to fucking sell shit? I mean, it's it's no different than Nike and Colin Kaepernick using a controversial... Now, right. forget forget the actual... Again, we're talking about it. So, like, I mean, the thing is, like, most ads, like, after 30 seconds of seeing it, though, right, it's ineffective advertising. Because Absolutely. Because you, you'll forget about it. Right. But the thing is, like, you remember the ad. I didn't, like, the thing is, I didn't even see the ad. And we're talking about now. I know about that, right? right. And I have Gillette in my mind, so it's like one of those. It like, works. It's covert advertising. Yeah, and obviously yes. they're going to lose some. Though it's a calculated risk. They're going to lose some customers. Like yo, fuck Gillette. Yo, I'm going big. No one goes big. You know, right. <laughs> like, you know, but like once you go big, you never go. Yeah. Back. <laughs> like but this is what their market marketing uh, strategy people, whatever. This is what they use. They use controversial subjects to advertise. Well, it's because, brilliant, and it works. Yeah, it is because it's, it's all even social if it's, media now. Even if it's bad like, look what exposure, we're talking about on our podcast. Even if it's bad, yeah, exactly. Even if it's bad exposure, it's still exposure. Right. Well, like, and also, like, I mean, I see people like they hate that, like, you know, like, you know, they're the whole Me Too movement and everything is like, you know, like PC culture and like taking away like well, all this stuff for men. Like, yo, we had a really good run. Like I mean, like <laughs> thousands and thousands of years, right? I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, we I mean, it, 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 listen, it, it, I mean, right. it, it's a, it's over, guys. You but, know, well, it, and it's, it's not, it, and it's not a bad thing either. Why it's over though? It's just like, just be, uh, I mean, women, survival of the fittest. I mean, you know, well, like, the thing is, like, obviously, why are like, men even able to run things or be in the position that we have been for the past? It's science. Like, some money the big years. fish eats the little fish. But but thing is, like, women have like okay, we, they, they, nice. they've gotten equal rights and everything like that compared to like <laughs> the yeah, average Jay, men. Jay just called all you bitches <laughs> little fish. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, there's there, there's semi truth to it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you yeah, off. Go right. ahead, say say. Go no, ahead. but women like it's and that's the thing. It's like. The thing is, like, we had these, like, antiquated assholes, I call them, right? Like, these old school assholes, right? That's like, you know, it's like, they'll say some dumb shit, though, right? You know, call a woman a cunt or a bitch or something like that, though. But, like, they're not covert, though, right? I can make a woman feel stupid as hell. Believe me, I've had plenty of drinks thrown out on me, right? And punches thrown, right? And just make them feel stupid, right? Like, and, that, and not just a woman. I'm just saying person, period, right? Right. So, like, you just I can't can be confirm. this. You can't be this overt asshole, right? Like, the thing is, like, assholes have to evolve, right? Like, there's always going to be that alpha male, that asshole, that dickhead that is out there, right? But the thing is, like, now it's like, like, there was a point in this country where you could hit a woman in public and nothing would happen. Right. We've gotten past the fact that, like, we've all mutually agreed, though, where it's like, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, so, that's, that's well, not, l- let me ask you And this there's some guys that are just like, they fail to see, like, okay, the, the trend going, right? It's like, and like oh, we don't well, know that. Well, l- let me ask you this. And, and again, you know, I'm just posing this for, for argument's sake and, and devil's advocate. Would. A little bit. Just back up a little bit. Why is it loud? Yeah, it's like oh. too big to pick up on the mics. Well, 
Man, let me just oh, adjust yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to make it weird. That's fine. Now <laughs> 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 nah, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, we were talking about... Uh, Smacking bitches. Uh, Smackin now bitches we don't do that anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Because we evolved. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, you'd smack a dude, right? If he hit you? I hit if a woman he, if she hit, hit me. That's yeah. all I... That's well, that's what I'm... Okay, that's, that's, that's where I was going. Sorry. I was like, do we believe in equality or do we do we not believe in equal equality? Equal and equal left, man. Equal... Yeah, right. I mean, like... And I'm you not, I'm not saying, like... perspective on here. So, uh, and what... I guess what bothers me about it is that women, in general, want chivalry, but they also want... It's like they want their cake and eat it, too. Like, hey, I want you to treat me like a man, but then again, I want you to treat me like a lady when it benefits me. Oh, like, yeah. stop it. Even like, like, seriously, stop it. No, but the thing is, like, and again, it's a slow process, right? You know, there's, like, obviously, a, like, half them agree. Half them are slow to catch up, right? And, and there's some guys that are slow Naturally. to catch up with. So, like, everybody's Naturally. meeting somewhere in the middle. And thing is, like, I mean, there's, like, women's, like, you should never hit a man. I mean, you should never hit a woman. I'm like, bitch, if you hit me, I'm going to hit you back, right? <laughs> and, like, and thing is, like, I won't hit you first, right? But if you piss me off, like, to the point where you hit me, right, and you hit, I'm not going to, like, just go, like, you know, Mike Tyson on you, like, a silverback gorilla. But you're going to stop it. You know, like, I turn to slap, you know, like, that's it, though. Like, get off me, right? Like, and things like, and I think this, every, you have a right to defend yourself. Absolutely. Right? So, like, you know what, like, no, like, you, like, honestly, like, where do they get off thinking, like, like, some of these, like, some people, right? There's, like, I can, I can hit a man and there'd be no consequences to it. Absolutely right. none, and that's like, that's honestly the, the you know honestly that's the generation that we're yeah. bringing up though like where women are put on a pedestal and they can do whatever the fuck they want. Man, you can see like my emotion coming through. <laughs> like they can do whatever the fuck they want. No, they 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 can say and do. They can hit a man, and where men are what we're supposed to just no. But thing not? is, like, but thing is, there's cases, and it's it's a slow thing, right? It's progress, right? So it's not going to be like snap our fingers, and right? It's done, right? The thing is, like they are learning, right? Like remember Ray Rice on the elevator, right? Yeah, I was that dude was like, yo, what did she do, right? It's like you know, because like Asshole is just like really just don't like just come out of like nowhere, yeah. right? It's like oh shit, he just hit yeah. me, right? She kind of ran at him, right? And I'm not saying what Ray did was right. Nah, he went way over. No, nah, but thing is like yo, it's like yeah, but thing is he's definitely apologetic for it. It was like emotions and everything like that though. But thing is like, but look, let me ask if, you, if you, you said he went way overboard. Did you see the video? Yes, I did. Did would he go overboard if that was a male? Shouldn't it be the same? No, it shouldn't, man, because Why? It, it's like, it's very comparable to if it was a child, you know, just yeah, physically. They're, they're, absolutely they're, not. Physically, yes, dude. Oh, hear me out. Just, they, physically, physically, the they're just not up to par, you know, like as far as physical combat. Is that combat. your not, this would not like an problem? <laughs> <When> somebody, <laughs> no chance. Okay, so it, let me ask you this then. If yeah. it's a 12-year-old kid, is it your problem? If a 12-year-old kid punches you in the face... Let's say a 12-year-old kid. No, we deem 18 you know. years old is like you're an adult, though, right? So do make adult decisions, right? If I talk shit to Brock Lesnar, right? Why right? Wouldn't you and hit like, a guess woman what? Like, and like, thing is, I hit Brock Lesnar, right? That dude's fucking me up, right? Yeah, the, the thing we're is, talking like, about extreme. No, yeah, no, but, no, but the thing is, but it's the children same, it's the are same different. parallels. Why? It's the same children parallel. are because Why? their brains aren't matured enough. They, they don't know the stuff that we know. They're they're just they're on a different level. But we're talking about something different. We're not yeah, talking about an when intellectual. You're talking about a grown we're not woman. talking about an intellectual fight, though. We're talking about you physically beating down a woman. Right. But what I'm saying is that a child might do something out of immaturity. A woman, a grown woman, can still an be adult immature. woman. Okay, so can a man. We'll do shit out of right. fucking just being like you know. So I mean, like, well, well, then what's your point? My my point is that I don't think you should equate beating down a man to beating down a woman because a man has a, a chance to defend himself a better chance the average man the average man and the average well, woman we, we talked about this position, already though right it's like honestly yeah. like don't put yourself in that position but you right. agree with me though like, no, I agree. You know, because you just said hold on hold on you said that you wouldn't hit a woman first why not because I can because that's just the way he probably no, like, exactly. exactly no but thing is, like, no, no, no. Like, and, and it comes don't out of yourself off because no, you can no, whip no, her ass no, with no, no problem no no that's I can whip her ass with no problem but thing is there's other pe- men too that like, I could probably whoop their ass with no fucking problem but thing is it's like honestly like if, if you get on the if you're on the losing end of an ass whooping right like out of nowhere out of an argument right like what did you do like a bar fight though and you lose and you get knocked out world star style right you know like mm. seriously guess what like what did you do to like? It's not like you were just sitting there minding your own business, right? Some like, dude came yeah. over and yeah. whipped your ass. Yeah. And, 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 they, and the thing is, like, like again, like, ass track. whooping just gonna fall the fucking sky, right? It's like, oh, you shouldn't have ass whooping. Yeah. Well, you, no, like, like that, like you did something for every cause. There's an effect. Yeah, we're going off topic. I was commenting you specifically can't on what you said. women and children. 
children are a whole different yeah, story. Of course you can. Put yourself in of the example. Of course you can. Not right? in this instance. Why? Well, hold on. Why won't you? Okay, so let's say you, you know, you're getting into a fight with a man for some reason. Yeah. All right. Are you going to put your hands up? Are you going to be punching him? Okay. Whatever. If he yeah. falls, are you going to get on top of him and punch him some more? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you get into an argument with a woman, she slaps him, you backhand her yeah. as to say, don't touch me again. And she yeah. falls. Are you going to get on top of her and continue to give her the beating? Maybe. Well, there's an issue. Well, with I have an issue. With that. <laughs> I don't know. What no, no, but you're asking me. It's like, issues. okay, like you're asserting dominance. So it's like, okay, like there's certain people that, like, there's certain size people, right, that you would have to assert a, a certain level of dominance too, right? Backhanding somebody that's smaller, you male or female, right? Oh, they got the fucking point, right? But somebody like your size, right? Why does you, it matter? You got to go a little bit farther, though. Why does it matter if they're smaller than you? Because you just said because that. Like, like most the, men are bigger that, than women. That force stronger. like this, that hurt, right? But somebody bigger, like, you know what? You got to throw a little bit more force. Mm. What I'm saying is it's that. It's like beating up an F-150 compared to a Honda th- Civic, There's a man. total <laughs> difference between a, a grown adult woman and a child. Because there's, a, a again, a, an experience and a wisdom and a, a maturity factor that. It's, yeah, but wouldn't it be the same anyway? I mean, if, it's so definitely say, the same. If you have an example, so say you go out, you go out to a bar, right? If I get slapped by a grown man, I'm going 100%. After right. that, I'm going 100 percent into a fight, and I'm gonna control the fight. Right. Mm-hmm. If I get slapped by a child or a woman, I'm gonna defend myself to stop the fight, but I'm not gonna go 100 percent aggressive. Right. Yeah, but you're you're all automatically putting children and women, like you said, in the same category. They're, they're not the same. The same. An adult the same. woman. They're, they're the same. Hold they're on. They're the adult. same in the sense of they're not physically as strong as men, as grown men. Man, that is a, such a broad statement. We're talking about. A maturity level. A child might do You're something. You're talking about a maturity yeah, level. Yeah, I, I, a child I might do something out of immaturity, not necessarily out of because we're arguing and blah, blah, blah. They don't know any that. better. That's but totally different than being... Nobody's disagreeing with you on that, though. That's well, all right. Just we're, hear me out for a second. We just have to agree that there That's are physical totally limitations different. that they share. You, you can't compare an adult to a child. Of course so you can. No, you can't. Let's get rid of the, chi- of of the child conversation. Because completely. the reason yeah. you and wouldn't you continue to beat them is the same. No, the reason yes. why I wouldn't beat a child is because she, they have an excuse because okay, they're so immature. So you're they saying you would, so you would beat a woman? Well, I'm saying like if so she would attacked you beat a woman? me, if she attacked yeah. me, no, no, no. You're not answering. Totally what different. if a child attacked you? Do you not hear what I'm saying? All right, let, let me ask you this: If <laughs> you already said, if a grown man slapped you in the face, you punch him, he falls, you get on top of him and punch him. You can't just blanket statement though. I'm trying to give you any kind of situation you can because you're saying that it's no because you won't there's rec- a similarity. I recognize everything you said, well, so give, but have, there's a, you won't recognize give, the fact there's a example. difference between a grown adult woman and a child. Of course, there's a difference. Okay, well, that's but what, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is the reason that I wouldn't beat a woman right. is the same reason I wouldn't beat a child. I have there's too much of a superiority when it comes to physical strength against them. I will beat them. a motherfucking woman's ass. If well, that's, she's, there's a problem. Hold I have on, a problem with that because you're cutting me off. I have a problem with that. If, Hey, look, there are some women out there that are big and fucking... We're not talking about... I'm, I'm going to give you a perfect example. Hold on, no, no, no. We're not talking about... There's some big bitches out there, right? I, I, we're not there. talking about like Chris six, Cyborg. Two, hold on. Pounds, <laughs> right? We're not talking about China. Yeah, we're not talking about it's UFC fighting, you know, right? body different women. <laughs> but I want to tell you something. We're talking about the average woman. Look, I'm going to give you a a personal experience. I'm at I'm at McDonald's on We're going to have to delete this whole segment. Why? There's too much talking over each other and it's just not... No, no, no. Anyway, okay, yeah. That may be. But I was at McDonald's when I was... I was a teenager on Northfield Ave in West Orange, New Jersey. I get into a, a, a verbal argument with the lady behind the counter, right? she, Me and a bunch of my friends, we're playing ball. We go into McDonald's. There's a sign out there that says free drinks. We order one cup. Now, we're teenagers. We order one cup and, no, free refills. I'm sorry. And we're, we're refilling to, you know, quench our thirst off of this one cup. After probably twice, I doubt. the lady behind the counter says... Hey, listen, you guys aren't getting any more refills. And I said, what are you talking about? There's a big fucking banner that says free refills. She goes, yeah, but you go about one cup and there's four of you and you just keep refilling it. I said, so what? What, what does that have to do with anything? What, what do you care what I'm doing with my drink that I paid for? You know, and we get into this verbal argument. And so it ended and I said, you know what? That's why you work here, you fat bitch. <laughs> Those were the wrong words. You know why? Because her fucking six foot something brother worked in the back. He was the fry guy. And as I'm walking outside, were they, were they African American? They were. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> but that, Yo, you know, that, that, I'm sorry, we have a history of just like, <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that, I mean, I, I didn't want to mention race or whatever. I know, I know. You called her a fat bitch, bitch, so you say you fat black bitch. I didn't say black. I just no, said that's why you fat, weren't yeah. fat bitch. Yeah, you kept this shit classy, like, yo, know, racially ambiguous. Like, you fat bitch. And, like, three fat bitches, like a Hispanic, a Chinese. So, hold on. <laughs> so, right, this dude comes from the back now, and he, he approaches all of us, and he goes... Who called my sister a bitch? And I was like, I mean, she is me. fat, but she's like, <laughs> I was me. You know, like, I was like, kind of like, oh shit. Dude, I couldn't get it out of my mouth. This dude hit me, fucking knocked me right into my friends. Next thing you know, we're all rumbling in the fucking McDonald's with, you know, customers in there eating food. So outside of McDonald's, where construction workers are building on, on this McDonald's. So these guys in, in fucking yellow hats. So here we are, we're fighting in the McDonald's, at least to the outside, there's us in sports jerseys, me and my boys, there's McDonald's workers that are in uniform, and then these yellow hat guys trying to break it up, right? I'm in the middle of fucking brawling, and this bitch comes over and fucking hits me. I turn around, and I'm like, I'm ready to swing. But it was a woman, and I don't. But would you call that justified? I mean, this was a big bitch. <laughs> I mean, she was just, she was a big bitch. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to say that it's not justified if she comes and attacks you. But the question that comes back to your original point is if the guy jumps the counter and you get in a fight with him and the girl jumps the counter and you get in a fight with her, are you going 100% at each of them equally? I'm going no. 100% against anybody that's threatening me. No chance. No chance. But not a child. There's no chance. There's absolutely I mean, a chance. I understand what you're saying. I understand <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> the thing that, is, like, again, like, you're, so, you're, what, you're, what you're doing is this, right? And I think everybody in any situation would do this, right? Like, you would assess the situation, right? And then assess the person that who is coming at you, right? Mm -hmm. Me smacking a 100-pound guy, right? Like, me, like, asserting dominance on a 100-pound guy, right? It's like, stop it, kind of push him down, everything like that. You know, no problem. Versus right? having to defend yourself. Uh, or def like, some he's coming at me, right? I'm like, are you serious, dude? You know, like... Yeah. Done. Over with, right? But thing is, like, okay, a big bitch, a bigger guy, right? There's certain levels, like, okay, they're not going to learn this lesson easy, right? You know, like, I got to, like, you know, not not just a tap, though. I got to, like, you know, it's getting... It, like, yeah. The wins get harder and harder as the weight classes go up, though, right? It is what it is, though, right? You know, it's like me wrestling a guy that's, like, 100 pounds lighter than me, easy win, right? Like, you start getting 185, 200, we're on that, though, close. right? It, it, it gets a little harder, <laughs> right, though? It's like, yo, I lost that one, but I won that one, you know? Right. It's like, so it, I get it, though. It's like, you know. It's, what, what I'm saying is that, so, like, you can't compare just an adult to a child. You can. Two different. You can. No, you, you can't. can't. Like, you can't. You like, can. really, you can't. You can't. With like, the as far as maturity level. Show. But maturity is a very, very different thing than no, a physical No, it's subjective, issue. but the thing is, like, it's still, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm not, like, like, what's your IQ, though, right? It's, like, or, like, right. what's your maturity level, right? Like, I can't gauge that right away, though, right? What do you, what do you mean by child? Somebody under 18? Well, you, you say, what do you mean by child? I mean by somebody that is weaker than you physically with similar but strength to that doesn't to the, define child. Like, five right, years old. You've got to give, like, some a, age. A, six, a, a 16 or a 15-year-old boy. Any kind of child that's you know, legally by law, still a child that has a comparable strength level of a woman. Well, let me ask you, why do you think that there's a... a no, 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 a, that's, that's... A, I just but, like, you. how big is well, that 16 year old though? Like, I mean, like, honestly, Com like, it doesn't matter. 16 Size or it's like, you know, like, he's Compar like a freak, he's hold like, on, he's going on. to the NFL. I just said right? it. <laughs> I just <laughs> said it, like, a few times. Comparable size and strength to a woman that you would restrain from hitting and attacking. That's how well, I'm comparing My, my thing is this. What I'm saying is, why do you think that there's a legal... I didn't Difference. say anything about illegality. I know I'm saying it, but I don't I, think I'm that, asking though. you why. You're you... asking me a question that I didn't. I didn't say. I know, but I'm saying it. All right. Why do you think that there's a legal difference? Why do you think that insurance companies, let's say for your auto insurance, there's a difference between an adult and a child? There's a different rates. They know right. that the, <laughs> that maturity has something to do with it. But we for established instance, earlier if, that if a child that hold on, wait, hold on, and morality are two different things. Though. If a child commits any kind of act of violence, blah 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 right. blah, you can excuse that because they're a child, right? Yeah, we all agree with that. Okay, an adult does it. There is no excuse. Right. That's the difference. So, like, a thirteen-year-old has that's a gun. If a thirteen-year-old has a gun pointed in my face, a child to a, adult. Like a thirty-eight-year-old yeah, man nobody's has a gun arguing in my face. It's the same. Well, thing. that's what I'm saying. So, like, if well, I just yeah, nobody's arguing that. 
you can't compare it. Well, I, I, well, you we've still been saying it all night. You, you can't, can't compare, compare a child and an adult. Yes, you can. You can compare how you're going to react to them physically attacking you. If you don't think that there's a difference between... Women are I, not children. If Andre just attacked me... Women are grown right? adults. Listen, hear me out. If adults. Andre just attacked me, there's a certain way that I would defend myself against him. Yeah. If a 22 or, let's say, 130-pound woman attacked me, or a 15-year-old boy attacked me, yeah. how I handle those situations are going to be more uh, similar than how I handle Andre. Yeah, as prevent, a grown man. You're going to prevent the altercation rather than engaging them. Exactly. And I think anybody that says that they wouldn't handle a woman attacking them differently than a man hand, um, attacking them, it's well, it's outrageous. Hold on. Yeah, but to, okay. to each yeah. his own, though, that's the thing. It's like, it was like I can't, I, I, I'm going to react that differently. I'm going to react I think differently than he would, and then he would, and you would. Right. So, it's, and that's the thing. It's like, I mean, is it, goes, it, is it goes back it, to again, what you it's, said earlier. It's you were able to smack your woman you know, in the face back in the day, and nobody bats an eye. Now we know that that's wrong. You can't go around hitting women for no reason, and that's and that's where I draw the line. Though, if you hit me right, and like, and, and the thing is, like, you hit me with like, what, like whatever you measure force, right? I can hit you back with that same amount of force, right? It's like, the thing is, I'm not going to go all out though, but like, I'm just going to like, you know, like, hey, relax your buttercup, you know, like, and that's like any guy, <laughs> like, like what, like we can't, like if if a gay guy hit me, like I can't hit him because like you know he's feminine. I would like, fuck a gay dude up because he has would fuck no, a gay dude. No. Cause si- like, si- <laughs> like, so, so, there, there was a si- point. There was like a period there, right? There was like I would fuck a gay dude. Guys, they're running it, and that's gonna be we, the uh, first. <laughs> so, <laughs> we totally have to edit that. <laughs> like, fuck <laughs> it, just I would. No, fuck. Out, so, so, like, there was some punctuation, like a semicolon, a comma. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It's really like, crazy how you get titles of the podcast oh, real for sure. quick. I would fuck a gay <laughs> dude. That is gonna be the title. No, but like, because at the end of the day, I when I look at you know like a gay man. They're still a man. They still possess the same physical traits that a straight man does. You know, just because they may act feminine, like you said, doesn't mean they're any weaker of a man. Like they're still a grown man hitting you if they're gay or if, whatever their sexual preference. I'm talking like RuPaul, like you know, like you know, like I mean, there's like yeah, but there is. I mean, I see some. I, I, I know I have gay friends, and I and things like it's like this, right? It's like, like there's some think. that are little, right? And there's some that's like. You're just a big gay dude, right? It's like you yeah, know, like they're, they're, they're you're men, obviously, big, but, the, but there's like the little, there's like, like little like guys, like I see, like I see like the gym, right? They're like little, like they're like, they're like, they're like, they're like, they're like prancing around, like they all they do is cardio, right? They have like no Your muscle mass, like, all they right? do is right? cardio. But thing is like, but thing is like, it is what it is, though, right? And then there's there's <laughs> big dudes like my size, your guy size, right? It's yeah, like yo, it's like yo. I'm gonna have to fuck. The, I mean, it's not, again, it's not gonna be easy win with this gay dude, right? And that's the thing. And there's like the little. Tiny feminine one, like obviously he's taken, he's not given, right? And thing is, like, it was like, what the? No, I'm just saying, so, though, right? So, so, like, like, so where like 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 do we draw the line? Is he, is he the woman? Is he the woman, is he the woman in that situation? Yeah, it's but not it, the it, woman, he's a man. Say, I would say that he's the woman. That well, so, you, you have to have gonads to be considered, like, I can't hit you or something like that, though? No, he's, yeah, I. I Again. Well, listen, it comes. I think it comes back to body size and, and you know, yeah. and you you in general. I mean, like, I'm saying if Josh goes into somewhere and he sees, I mean, if it's, if regardless if the guy's gay or not, sees a small guy that weighs 80 pounds that punches Josh in the face, he's not going to go the same strength that he would go at, you know, exactly. a 250 well, hold on. pound. I'm going to pick him up guy. like he I was simple. I play a six-year-old in basketball, man. I'm going to pick him up like he was I'm not, I'm not losing this game. <laughs> That's how I mean, I, you win the game. Man, you're not gonna beat no, but I, all right, guys, <laughs> let's uh, on that nah, game. Nah, let's fuck that. It's we've been going for well over an hour and a half now. Let's wrap this shit up. Hold on, wait, wait, no, no, before no, we, we wrap, we, we, I just want I just wrap wrap into it. Yeah, I'm having a good time, but you know this. I just want to just to wrap this topic up as far. Thank you for coming. Hold on, it's been great. So wait, thanks for listening, guys. Bye. All right, guys, thank you for coming out. Uh, thank you, Andre Spence, yes. for coming out. and The uh, Spencer-nator. Yeah, the yes. Spencer-nator. Had that name for a while. You're welcome. Multiple people. No, multiple people called Yeah, me you're that. welcome, dude. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll give you that shit. Thank you to Vision Street Auto. Um, again, if you're, if you're having car troubles, definitely, definitely, definitely seek uh, Division Street Auto. You can find them on, on Facebook. True that, true that. You know, if you need any... Uh, Work done on, on work done on your tranny. They take care of trannies, so you're good. Have fun, guys. Ten percent off there. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Andre. Thank you, Andre. Bye.